Welcome back again. In this demo video, we'll discuss about Modbus serial master slab communication and that master slab communication not in between PLC and the slab device. It is in between Arduino and the slab device. For that example, we'll use the Arduino as a Modbus master and SWRX WP231 OING module that is Siemens module used as a slab device. But to interface in between Arduino and the OING module, we'll use RS485 to detail converter in between them. Let's see the program and hardware interface how we can configure. Okay, now talk about Arduino code. As we want to use the Arduino as a Modbus master and OING module is a Modbus slab, so we have to include Modbus master from the library, from manage library. You have to write here Mod Modbus master. You can see the Modbus master here. I already installed. Then you need a software serial parity library because we need to create a software serial pin there is a hardware pin here you can see see there is a hardware serial rx and tx and usb also a hardware serial as we want to send the data from Arduino to pc as a data stream so we cannot use that pin 0 and 1 we have to use usb serial to take the data to pc so how we can interface the detail card this card in Arduino board we need 4 pin to declare in Arduino board to take the data from modbus slab to Arduino and here we have to connect the VCC as a 5 volt and ground and here we have to give the Modbus negative data negative pin and in A pin we have to give Modbus data positive pin ok so I will use like this that I will use DI pin on pin 6 and RO pin that is a receipt pin in a pin 3 that 0 1 2 will be spare from 3 it will be receipt pin DI will be transmit pin DE and RE will be 5 and 4 pin ok and from VCC we can use 13 or 5 volt directly from the board here and ground pin I will use from here also ok and we will connect the data modbus data pin A and B ok so let's declare the pin here ok so for software serial you cannot find that software serial parity library from here ok from here you have to download from internet which library software serial library you can find here that will only use for parity none but as I set in OING module that parity is even we cannot set there as a parity none because there is no option so I have set as a parity even so we have to create a parity as a even here ok here we have create a rx pin in 3 tx pin 6 as i shown in picture ok here i have created instant that soft serial for software serial and use that rx and tx pin here ok and here declare 5 pin as a de pin and re pin for 4 and power pin 13 you can use that pin or you can directly use 5 volt from the board also here we have created 
object that node using Modbus master library ok and here we have declared the pre transmission and post transmission as you know that Modbus is a request and response protocol so Modbus master will request to slab to take data so Modbus slab will response by giving that data so here pre transmission send that one to Modbus slab that is requesting data and post transmission giving zero that is receiving data okay here set the void pin as a power pin as a one always high to give a output 5 volt and pin mode re pin da pin as a zero okay here we have declare a hardware serial that is baud rate 19200 serial 8 bit data bit parity none stop bit 1 and here we have declared the software serial as a even parity with baud rate 19200 so here i have given note that software serial only has a parity none but by using software serial parity that we can set all types of parity none even anything so thanks to creator of that software serial parity library okay now we have to set a modbus address slab address that will connect the modbus arduino master to that slab so modbus slab address is train okay wing module uh, we have set now see the void loop here we have declared the variable here we have take the data from the modbus slab to in a result variable okay in that result variable we have take the data as two register to only we will take two register data holding register okay and that register address start address is 3013 but see actual address is 3014 always set as a neg less one okay so actual address 3014 so we have set 3013 so we will take two address because the data is four byte data with four two register and that data is fraud okay now here if there is a data in a result so we'll take that data in a array that is data array and array is data array is 0 and 1 here we have limit here you can pin that data by giving that command here but we will not send that data to that serial we can use only for testing so after testing i have give it as a comments okay now here we have declared another variable as a pointer and we convert that pointer as a weight data array 0 and 1 in that pointer and converting that pointer data to plotting data by using this instruction okay now if you want to check that plot data just use that comments section instruction okay but you have to give a comments here otherwise you have it will send the data to pc but i want to send the data after converting that data in five digit so it is here so here we have convert that floating data weight to the long integer data okay by using that instruction and here we have used that instruction to make that integer long integer to five digit okay 
we want to send that um, data always as a five digit if the value is zero means there is no load on the wave bridge means zero weight zero kg so it will send as a zero 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 five digit zero okay so if it is a value as a five 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 zero five five zero means five hundred fifty so it will send it as a zero zero five five zero as a five digit so this instruction this instruction will do that okay here we have sent that buffer buff here this character variable to that serial usb serial hardware serial to pc as a data stream so our batchelan software will take that data capture that data and print okay now see okay there is no error let's download the program i have connected the arduino module to the swarex module the slab module before you download you have to set the usb port okay see the data is coming and it is in one line because the serial print is in one line so new data coming from the slab it is not showing here serial monitor okay okay i am clearing that window again see the new data is coming but it is in one line let's change the serial dot print line here okay download okay see it is coming in new line now okay but i will change it as a one line because the data in pc which receiving it is in one line one data stream now changing by using the load cell simulator see the display data is changing as well as the serial monitor of audio no that also changing yes it's changing very well okay thank you